Hello, welcome to the Loney Show. I'm your host, John Maloney. In this episode, I'm brought to an regular Risk 11. And as for our guest, well, um, you know the gist. It's uh, it's going to be one of those episodes again. Yay. <sighs> so, yeah, let's j- jump into it. I have to say, Jamie, I am getting really annoyed at this Scottish government. Yeah, aren't we all? They're fighting, you know that bill, right? Transgender bill. Oh, we need that bill that but allows apparently men, to, female men, but transition to a woman to be allowed in people in female prisons. The yeah, bill. That fucking cretin that nobody voted for, and he was instilled by the fucking elites. Wants wants to fucking make, basically wants to waste taxpayers' money for a case he cannot win. I hope Britain fucking fights it, and I hope they lose that case. And I hope he gets fucking out of government. Useless fucking todger. Never accomplished anything. It is quite a shame, too. But eventually, this, their own system is going to crumble on it to its back. I hope fucking S&P gets demolished. Fucking bunch of wasters. It's a waste of space, waste of time, and a waste of resources. That's a lot of people put it. More things to worry about than that. Like the fucking fact we've got shitloads of potholes in, 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 in Scotland. And we've got fucking shit up finance in it. We've got a shit industry that's fight financial industry that's collapsing. We've got oil and gas that's is kinda going away. And they want to make the case, oh we need independence. Shut the fuck up, get on with the job and fucking build fix the country. If you're not gonna do that, fucking sacrifice your belt and go fuck yourself and let Kate Forbes or someone that's more competent fucking in charge and do it. Because how how are they your job, how are they fuck off? Exactly. How how are they gonna ask for independence if they can't get their shit in order? Like you need to sort your own shit out first your shit. and prove yourself you can be independent. No one wants independence. I don't want independence. I know for a fact we're not going to survive on our own. But I know that because that that a... they want to be on their own. They want to create their own little dictatorship. He wants to be like the next Saddam Hussein. He wants to be the, be the next Mao Zedong. And they've proven, and they've already proven that point that they cannot survive on their own. What do they have? What? No offense. What industries do we have that we that's fucking good? America's not taking you seriously. Europe's not going to take you seriously. UK's not taking you seriously. What I can tell you to do, deal with the cards you've been dealt. No one wants you to be in. They want you to still be a part of the UK. So you just got to fucking make, get, get done with it and just fucking build the country and make it a better place for people. What we're doing here in Scotland is we, we, we give out too much fucking benefits. The population's lazy. They don't want to work. And they want to literally just get everything fed by the government. That is what we are, a failed fucking state. Failed country. And Britain's not much fucking better. But what yes. can we do? <sighs> fucking idiots. It's not like, like our votes don't matter. We don't get a vote. We don't get a fucking say. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. We're, we don't live in a democracy. We live in a dictatorship. I even said to my parents, we should disband the fucking royal family. What have they fucking done? What do they do? What do they have right? Fuck all. But they say, but all... I think the royal family is a waste of fucking money and use it. We should, we should sell all the fucking royal family's assets, strip them of their wealth, and leave them fucking destitute on the fucking islands. Let them have a fucking look, give them one little castle, give them a semi small mansion, strip them of all their wealth, and use that wealth to build fucking repay all our debts and fucking use it to build the country up. Because we don't need a fucking royal family. Like, no offense, Jamie, do we really need the royal family? And. Um... To, to an extent of tourism, um, that's data, debatable. But no, besides, no. Ah, yeah, no, come on. Let's be honest with you. We can still have them. We can strip them of all their wealth, and we can literally, and we can do it. People really, do they really come for the queen or the royal family, or do they just come for Westminster Palace? To be honest, they just come... the, the 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 reason why the UK is well known is because of the royal family. But other than that, other than recognition, what else are they good for? No offense, but why don't we just get rid of the royal family? There's nothing saying that we can't have people bring people. Can't, people don't want can't, people can't come see Westminster and all our buildings. All well, our the, tr- the, is- the issue is 
there's, there's, a couple, there's a lot of traditionalists in this country that says that abolishing the royal family would, deem, would be deemed to be too unpopular. But of course, we all there's a counter argument and loads of reasons for it by other people well, that aren't traditionalists. Strip them of the wealth. What do they fucking do with it? Strip them of their wealth, take all their assets, can guarantee you they're worth fucking trillions. Fucking trillions. Put them with everything they've got, leave them with maybe 10, 20 million or something like that, or a decent amount of money. You just put that money into the fucking government and we can fucking do something with it. But they're not going to do that. How long do you think the royal family still has before they're all disbanded? Before we disband it? I know I know, it's going to be a stretch. However, given the passion and commitment, which is very low, I'll give it, at the earliest, two or three more decades for them to survive as a monarchy. Yes. The issue is, people aren't, people don't know the issues that are going on in this world. If people don't stand up for what is right, then the, the elites and the high ups are just going to trot all over us. They, they, just do, they do what they want because no one's doing anything about it. Like, no offense, where does it start? Oh, we let, the, we let, we let, men, let men go into the fucking toilet and female toilets, right? Where does it stop? We let men be fucking babies. We let baby. We let a, a grown ass man get have a nanny, and let, treat him like he's a baby. Where does it fucking stop? When do we take a fucking hard line? And when do we call call this shit out when it is? That's the thing that people don't want to fucking call out. They don't want to do anything because Britain's too fucking pessimistic. We're never going to get anywhere like. Um, we're never going to get anything like France. What's going on in France with Macron? Because we're too fucking pussies to do anything about it. And they just don't. We, at the end of the day, are the people that put up with this shit. When we say enough's enough, they'll have to fucking listen. That's the issue. We put we, we put up with shit all the time. And people still do a lot of bad, the worst of shit to us. If we, if, we, if we don't do what the French do, then, well, well, it's over. It's over for us. It is over. But we're not... Is there people that are actually going to be... Are the British people that are actually going to stand up for themselves? I don't think they will. I'm actually thinking that it's going to come to a point where literally the freaking it's going to come to a point where literally the government is tossed out, the S and P's tossed out, and disbanded. But like, I still can't believe there's people that want independence. Like, what do we have to fucking offer? What do we off- have to offer people apart from literally, apparently, for the S and P getting its own little regime and their own little dictatorship? People, uh, do like, people almost, even know about the S and P? Like, what? that's a genuine question. Is that the yeah. only thing going for them? Well, they've had multiple failed policies. They've had that, that whole cruise line thing that failed. You know, that, that cruise line that they bailed out, which has failed, it's cost the taxpayer millions. This whole lawsuit but thing, that the whole multiple lawsuits that she's tried to do to get, get her get to allow India F2 and independence. Uh, the fact that they misappropriated funds for multiple other stuff. The fact that they... Yeah, the fact that they pulled funding from certain things, certain certain things to fund over under the thing is with the with the S and P, Jimmy. It doesn't matter if it, it doesn't matter if the S and P don't get it right. It doesn't matter if the S and P lose whoopee whoopee, because again, Labour's got the same ideology as them. The only one that doesn't have the same ideology as them is Conservatives. They're all well, well, and what what are the Conservatives doing for this country and? Uh... And so on and so forth. Your conservatives are fucking shit, but the they're, they're all shit. They're all Yusuf Hamza Yusuf is a fucking pawn of the wet of wet. Same with Sturgeon; she was a pawn. Clearly, Rishi Sunak was a pawn. I don't think Boris Johnson was a pawn. I honestly think it might have actually been someone that didn't agree with their policies, but had to align with them in certain aspects. I don't think he fully agreed, but I think Sunak is definitely a pawn of wet. Biden's a pawn of the WEF. Trump was not a pawn of the WEF. Why else do you think he was like... I think he had some similarities with him, but he did not agree with them all entirely. Fully. Yeah. But Crazy. We've got no choice. What else? There's a lot of things going on on Twitter. Oh Did yeah, the Mandal... There? It's okay, it's not that great of a show. It's actually been a pretty shit season. Oh, yeah. Okay, what else is on Twitter? 
Uh, well, yeah. Elon Musk had an interview with a BBC employee and he called them out on his shit on the fact that they're about fake news. Yeah. Yeah, that, that interview was like, what? That is, that was, that awful was, that interview was absolutely awful. But they're running out of things to say to him. Because he's in, impl- because they're, impl- it just proves that BBC is state affiliated media. <sighs> this, this, that could, that could, that could trigger something. For the BBC. To afford a 500,000 home in the US, a person would need to make 140k a year per batch watch. Lots to argue, lots to complain, but someone's got to be the bigger person there. Mm. Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz is happening. Oh, that's cool. Saturday, August 5th. And it's happening on the zone. That's own. They're good. Not really. I always thought like they were. I mean, they're the only, the only, the only competition in this space. So, who, who are we to complain about the only big name right now in the boxing space? I thought there was other places, but well, they're not as big though. Again. But we had yet, we have, we're, you're yet to wait and see. What about this can... again? I haven't heard from East Pian in ages. It's still good, but it's not as commercialized as the zone. Mm. Again, I still don't think Premier. I still don't think that people will pay pay money for a Premier League app. I still don't think people would pay money for that. I don't think there's a market for that. I think there's a market if you were to merge it with another app. Or if they were to, I think instead with the Premier Year League, right? Yeah, would they maybe better just merging with the zone, Premier League, getting all the game, games exclusively on the zone? Because then you would have boxing, you would have you be you could be a, you could be a multiple sports thing. You'd have all the yeah. Premier League games and boxing. That would be another market they could tap into. Yeah, by merging the markets would mean a big a bigger demographic and yeah, you have people because if you think about it, if you think about it. The people that watch football, that watch football, a vast majority of that is probably people that watch watch boxing, as well. If you include that in the monthly subscription, you'll probably make a shitload more money. Just include, yeah. if you pay your for it, you get a monthly subscription. You can also get access to the late, the, up, the latest up and coming Premier League games. That would be a good idea. At least, at least subscription would be now worth the money that uh, yeah, actually, they're actually like, paying the thing, for. Yeah, if you're paying just for boxing, like no offense, it's what's cool. The, what's the use? What's you the need use? to merge it with our stuff. Yeah, I, I think I think the occlusion with the Premier League with the zone is actually a good value for money for what they're paying right now monthly. Yeah, not to mention they they can get what they want to do. They want to create a streaming service right now, but I think maybe they want maybe they just want to do it all in house by themselves. But that would be pretty interesting. Premier League meets the zone. Two and one. That'd be that'd be quite a crossover. Mm. Yeah. But hey, one can dream. You'll never know when the impossible might be possible. Hmm. Elon just bought BBC. Wait. Wait, what? Elon Musk bought the BBC? Oh, is it the interview? Wait, what's going on? What's going on with Elon Musk? Wait, I need to check this. Hmm. All right then. Oh, I always knew that Canada would take an L at some point. What did they take? Uh, the ca- Canada took an L recently. I guess, kind of. I can't describe it, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to describe it. But I feel like there's other alternatives that could go in, but they would obviously deny it for whatever reason. Something has to do with safety zones for people who are LGBT, like anyone who would discriminate or harass anyone that's a member of the LGBT community would ha- would be hit with a massive fine. That's like like what Canada's proposed recently. So what? You're not allowed to have an opinion. You don't agree with that. So what? So basically, they're trying to shut you up. If you say something they don't agree with, shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear your opinion. I mean, I mean if the if they're going to make safety zones for people in the LGBT community, 
Maybe they should consider like maybe they should for... shut the fuck up and realize not everybody stands for your gender. Maybe not everybody wants to fucking suck you off and say, "Oh, the LGBTQ is so fucking great," because they're a fucking cult. But what about more. what about else. what about safety zones for people of certain races or religions? Have they thought about Where that? Where does it or fucking ju- end, Jimmy? Where does it end? Oh, we oh we want just why can't people have an opinion? Oh. Oh, we don't agree with you. Fine, that's fine. I don't agree with people hurting them, but I, 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 I do to be allowed to opinion. Oh, I don't like, I don't like the specific group. I should be allowed to discuss my opinion. At the end of the day, we're all humans. We have our own opinions. We have our own life choices. But I don't think one should get more treatment or lesser treatment than the other, depending on their own our personal identity. We're all we're all humans. We can all disagree Canada with whatever. Canada itself. I already know it's a dictatorship. The skies are democracy. Same with Britain. I mean, what is real anymore? Everything's just illusion. It's just like a trickle down. We live of in reality. the matrix, like you said. We live in yeah. the matrix. And especially the matrix are going after me because uh, apparently I don't shut the hell up. About a lot of things. Well, at least now you're feeling. Now you're feeling what I feel. <laughs> I just don't yes. pay attention to it. <laughs> Maybe the adventure they'll they'll probably come to your door at some point and lock and, and basically write you with some fine or be a fine or something like that, and then eventually they probably wouldn't because that would be too obvious. Given no, they my... probably will. They'll do that. They'll try and intimidate you, and then if they, that doesn't work. They'll 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 discredit you, and if that doesn't work, they'll lock you in prison. If that doesn't work, they'll try. First to kill of all, me. they come to your they come to you and basically find you with some bull, bullshit charge. Second of all, they second of all, if you don't shut up, they'll fucking make you look like a bad guy. And number three, if that doesn't work, they'll lock you up. And if that doesn't work, then they kill you. But the question is, if all attention attempts to assassinate me fail. What is the fourth stage? No one has ever thought has ever talked about they'll that. They'll wait until you go, and they'll wait until you're. They, they, they don't fail after number three. They don't fail after number three. Well, the impossible could be possible, but of course, nothing right. is escaping death to any of us. Either that, they lock you up, change you with someone else. Like I believe that Andrew Tate has been is a clone. Is now the Andrew Tate that's out now is a clone. It's not the real him. But that's just me. Yeah, what else can we dive into? Maybe, maybe if the fourth stage, after multiple failed assassination attempts, they would just forcibly brainwash you and then repeat the whole thing all over again. That's just me. Maybe. I know for a fact that you can't trust anybody. To an extent, because you never know who's watching. For all you know, they could be NPCs. Yeah. But yeah. No, ma- no matter what we say, we could be the bad guys to someone's story, or maybe you're always we could be... be the bad guys in someone's story. Well, yes, yeah, that too. However, we could also be an NPC t- to someone else's story. But of course, you you would certainly disagree with that, and I would disagree with that too. But that's just people's perspective and opinion. You're always going to be the NPC. They're going to think, "Oh, no." Yeah, you you don't know what he's talking about or whatever. Oh, you you don't know nothing. You're not a scientist. Of COVID. You're not like this. You can't say that. They're trying to freaking kill people. There's multiple reasons. There are there's multiple proof that they're trying to kill people with COVID. There's multiple peop- There's multiple reasons why they initiated the COVID nineteen thing. And it wasn't to, it wasn't to be nice. It wasn't to freaking it wasn't to protect everybody. It was so they can still left legislation. It was so they could still legislation, life altering legislation that would change people's lives for the worst. And so they could instill power that will literally for future events that'll allow them to freaking seize more power. Oh yes. Every cow apparently, yeah, now every country is now applied up to who who's like COVID nineteen policies. Or almost all of the countries. But yeah. Gone. It doesn't really matter who you vote for because you know that they're both controlled opposition and you really have no say. You've never had a say and you never will have a say. Yeah. You don't even get a vote in your own elections. It just means how fucking work, how much they pity. They don't even care about your, care about your opinion. 
the, as long as they can instill their masters, still the instill the people they want in government in power, they can keep control, and they can keep the knowledge and money that they fun, funnel through their tax their systems. And the truth is, people say people have loyalty. People will never betray themselves. Really, if I were to give you enough go, if I was to give, did you do you know how much how how easy it is to bribe a pol how much how cheap it is to bribe a politician or control a politician? It's only fifty k. Fifty k. Anything. Fifty k. That's all it is. It's not a lot of money. Fifty k. That does just take anything. You pay them fifty k. Oh. Maybe I sign a maybe I sign a law that can, that restricts my people and it benefits the company. I pay you two hundred million. I pay you a, a set amount of money every month. You're in my pocket. You're in this guy's pocket for the rest of your life. He's my guy. If he runs into power, this is exactly what what other countries do. They they get certain pol- pol- politicians. They they buy them. They say I'll pay you X amount of money if you do my bidding. And the politician's going to say, well, I've got a kid and a family. You know what? You pay me this money, I'll freaking, I'll do what you say. I'll sign whatever politician you want, to, want me to sign. I'll sign it or whatever. I'll help you. I'll help promote any certain apps that you want to do. I'll help you steal, take guns from the people. Pay them enough money, they'll do it or whatever they want. They'll sing your song of Canary. People are weak. Humans are weak. And they're easily manipulated and controlled. But that's the truth. You there? Yeah, I'm still there. Yeah. But yeah, people can be bribed, people can be bought. Nothing's not for sale. That is, that's the truth. Nothing's not for sale. If you're willing to pay a high enough money, you can acquire something. If you're willing to pay a certain amount of money, enough money, you can buy something. If you want to buy, if you want to buy, a, pre- a, buy a president, you, can, you most definitely can. It just means that you're going to have to pay like so much money. You're going to have to pay billions and billions and billions of dollars. But if you're willing to, if you're willing to pay that money, you can control and buy a president. And it means that you can control a country. These com- companies make so much money. The amount of money these politicians want to be bought for, bought, bought, bought for, and controlled, but for. Oh, this company, this guy wants me to pay a couple million. This co- a couple million. You're saying if I, but I spend a couple million, spend five to ten million dollars. On this politician, I can have my way with him, and I can have full control over his country. Why wouldn't I pay that? Why wouldn't I spend five? Why wouldn't I spend ten million? Oh, it's only ten million, ten million, ten million a year, or something like that, and I can own this guy's country. Heck yeah! If I'm making hundreds of billions of dollars, hundreds of fifty, ten to twenty billion, ten five billion every quarter. And this politician only is requiring maybe a couple, like 10, 20 million a year. God damn, I'm going to fucking acquire him. I'm going to make him my fucking bitch. I'm going to let make him sign legislation that's going to make me more money. I'm going to make him sign, sell, sign legislation that's going to actually benefit the benefit our, benefit our, me as our company. And he's going to kiss our arse. And he's going to say he's going to recommend our, pre- our product. Now we're getting into the topic about with GM. You led, Barry, and it matters. <laughs> Politicians can be bought. You just got to pay them enough money. They'll be your personal spokes- spokesman for your car. But yeah, so what else can we dive into? Remember remember the time that the there was this lad talking about the story about uh, fans coming to Chris's support after coming out as trans and whatever? Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see how you could fully <laughs> accept one thing but still have denial with the other. He accept he he supports that he is supportive of Chris becoming trans, but yeah, not but still acknowledging the fact that Mr. Beast is not a nice person, even though there has been proof on YouTube that has done lots of charitable work for kids in Africa, curing blindness, and, well, kind of curing blindness. But yeah, he's... Mr. Beast has done a lot of charitable things. And So is Bill Gates, Jamie. So is Bill Gates. Just because you do a lot of charity work does not make you a nice person. Uh, yeah, Bill Gates is a... Comp- look, Bill Gates is a completely He's done so much story. for charity, but it benefits him. 
he and he gets tax write offs. The people that do too much charity, they've got something to hide, and they also they're not squeaky clean. I don't get that he's not. I don't think he's a douche. I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't think Mr. Beast's the bad guy. I don't think he's evil. All I'm just saying is, just because they're doing charity work does not make does him not a nice mean guy. they're a nice guy. Exactly. That makes sense. Like take Bill Gates for example, Jeff Bezos. He donates to and Mark Zuckerberg. They donate to massive amount, amount, massive amounts of money to to charity. He's got his own fucking foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, that donates so much money. But you've got to realise he's also making a shitload of money. It's basically his way to launder money and make it so he doesn't have to pay ton, tons of money in tax a year. So is it really charitable? He's right off of it. That's the whole reason why he founded that 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 thing, that institution, that thing. Because it's a charity. If you found a charity, you don't have to pay tax. And if you funnel money to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, you don't have to pay tax. And he can use that. It's it's it's, it's his money lot washing part. It's his thing where he uses it to wash his money, so he can actually not pay tax. Most millionaires have foundations. It's used as a, a tax loophole to freaking get received stock without being taxed. It's like the, it's the rich person's version of a fucking ISA. The stocks and shares ISA. But you're not going to get rinsed with ta- capital gains tax. Not people know this, but those types of things they're used as tax loopholes. <laughs> it's like oh, I donated, I donated a piece of art to the museum, museum to the museum, the National Museum of Art. Now I'm going to be able to claim that back as a tax write off and get a massive fucking amount of money. Tax deduction. And I'll make some money back off it. I might even make a profit. It's, it's well known, but not many people talk about it. What else can we dive into? There's a lot of buzz about Ariana Grande. Uh, controlled plant. Ariana Grande, the controlled plant? Yes. How so? Everybody, everybody in Hollywood's a controlled plant. Everybody in the music industry is a control plant. Mm. You think about it, look at it. A lot of them people in the music industry, they're controlled. Like Michael Jackson, for example, XX Tentacion, a lot of these uh, these musicians that sold their soul to get famous. Ariana's no different. You don't get big in the music industry without selling your soul. Take Sam Smith, for example, Jamie. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Sam. Sold his soul to get a fucking milk, become a milk, become a milk, become to become famous. You've also got to realize, you know, these child actors, right? Yeah, their parents sold their their kids' souls to get that that big, that get that big, to become oh. child actors. Oh, that's vile. You don't realize it, but think about it. They don't. Uh, you think that these people actually hire these people, right? Yeah. They actually do jobless things and that in acting positions. It's just a ruse. They all get fricky. They're all handpicked before they even get the interview process. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, it's all handpicked. They decide that, and then they all become. Yeah, they become handpicked, and they become part of the, the CIA operation. The CIA operation. The system. Yes. You don't realize most people don't realize it, but Hollywood is just a CIA operation. It's a manipulation. It's how they manipulate people. They manipulate Every- to figure out what's true and what's not. It's hard to tell what's true and what's not. Everything you see is an absolute setup. I don't know if if they actually go are going to try and slave us and take everything we've got. But I sure as hell it does make you wonder. Why, if they weren't going to try and enslave us, if they were trying to enslave us, what I'd do is try and get rid of guns. Degun the population. Because if degun the population, they can freaking attack. Hey, now, if you watch Mandalorian, right? Yeah. This brings home to, to the world, right? This bring, this also dates back to Star Wars, right? The This woman, right? She was the princess. She was the, the queen of, of Mandalore, right? Uh... She was being bombarded by people. She surrendered, and she and the the goal for them to be peace. Basically, she she surrendered her surrendered her weapons and basically made surrendered all the guns and militia of the of that country, that that planet, right? And then and then literally they, they bomb them. They make them defenseless, right? And then they and then this 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 military guy he bombs the entire country multiple times after they surrendered peacefully. 
just proves once they disarmed every all the they had to disarm the entire planet for them for peace, and then after that they just bombed they bombed the entire country, the entire planet. Think about it, but yeah. But yeah, what else can we dive into? To or is there anything? Well, there's more, but patience is always the key, you know. Yeah. What else? Okay. What else is going on Twitter? Well, there's an update on Paris. What's going on in Paris? Well, there are there's a few videos on videos on protests, but there are some other photos showing, you know, the you know the standard Instagram pictures and whatnot. So, well, it looks like the protests starting to die down just a bit. Or are they? Again, it's it's just an illusion. We just don't know. There's still there's still a protest for sure, but there's still some nice there's some positivity going on. Macron needs to go. Macron needs to go. People want him gone. He needs to go. Mario Le Pen should probably get take charge. Makes me wonder. They weren't exactly happy that Mario Le Pen was taking up. That would potentially could have won in France. Makes me wonder. Maybe that's the maybe because the pe- the elites don't want her to win, but they, but the people want her to win. Who knows? Ah, oh, oh. Eric just joined. Oh, yo guys, I'm on the app. It works. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Brilliant. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Oh, but, so, so, anyway, what guys, so what are you guys talking about? Uh, uh the death Emmanuel of the Macron, Kingdom. Mary the the Le Pen. Hold on, hold on. You guys are talking at the same time. Wait, what? what? The death of the United Kingdom. Oh, okay. That um, it's fucked. And a lot of other things. Yes. Oh. Okay, cool. So, where'd you guys leave off? Mary Le Pen. Emmanuel Macron. And yeah. I think Mario Le Pen should probably take over France. I think that she would probably make a better leader than him. And I think, like, Mac- Macron, he seems to be kissing too much up to China, which doesn't make me happy. He's kissing too much with China. Like, he seems to... Him and the EU want, seem to be, like, very much chumming up to China. Oh, classic France, surrendering. I thought you liked China. What? He does, liked- he does like... He does like China. He's just saying that he's disappointed in France, like surrendering to China. It does kind of seem like that, doesn't it? You go and kiss his horse and you bow to him, bow to Xi Jinping. How do you think about it? I like China, don't get me wrong, but to bow to them so easily. No, just let come on. A bullet. Just means how much France is weak. No, he, he had to, he got, he had to have some balls in there, but nah, he couldn't have had balls. By the scenes of things, oh, we gosh. already know for a fact that France is is probably going to be. It's I. They already know for they already know America's fucked, and they're siding with they're siding with China, because they were they they're realizing. As much as we like America, they're not going to survive when it comes to China. So it's either it's either we side with America and we get taken out. Or we, we, we stay neutral and let America and China have a little skirmish. And we support whoever wins at the end. Which is probably wise. I don't think I don't think Europe should get involved in the skirmish between China and America. Sorry. I think they should stay neutral. Stop. Oh, so, oh, right. Sorry, I was talking to my dog. Okay. Yeah, my okay. bad. It's all right. Yeah. It happens. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Too many useless people in government. Aren't we all just useless people? We have no say. We're all part of the system. The Matrix. Yes. How do we know we're real? What if we're all just a simulation? I'm glad that you're starting to realise what the Matrix is. Who, me or Jami? Jami. <laughs> I mean, to be guys, honest, guys, I... I I generally knew this for ages, but I just didn't talk about it because, I, of course, as you know, I'm aware people are coming after me. 
like for years, when I say about shit, they would come after me. That's why I shut up about it, despite I knew about it for ages. But I'm glad I'm coming out about it, and I don't care who people go after me. I'm going to say things as it is. I yeah. say things as it is, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, like, Way. You know what would be crazy? Hey. If, I think there was this one movie, I forgot what it was called, but it was pretty much about how this guy was in a dream world, but then, like, you know, the, like when he went farther and farther and farther, the, the sky broke or something like that. Is this the Matrix? The, no, no, it was something else. It was something else. I, I just forgot what the movie was called. What movie? Yeah, no, I forgot what it, uh, it was. It was about how this guy was living uh, it, a fake, a fake life, pretty much. And like you know, I think when he th- when he sailed to sea and got farther. Ain't farther, everybody ain't everybody living a fake life though? People care oh, so much about what happens online, but you realize that it's the real world that really matters. Everybody's living think, a fake life. I don't really care about that, what happens online that much. Neither do I, but it, Every, it's not everybody, but a lot of people do. Look, as long as you don't come to my house and threaten me, I don't I don't care what you do online. Yeah. yeah. Me neither. Same. Everything you see online is just a distraction. If if you look at what China's social media is like, you seeing kids, you see youth taking part in the military, uh partnership programs, apprenticeships, whatever. But if you look at social media in the Western world, like US, UK, Australia, or whatever, you see, you see people girls, doing... You see girls twerking on TikTok. Yes. Like, <laughs> here's the thing, bro. It's like, I'm not going to lie. It's like, ever since I've no, really... It's, it's... I don't know, bro. It's like, ever since it's like... I don't know, bro. That stuff is just... It's, it doesn't... It's just, me, it's just completely meaningless to me now. It's like, I don't care about, you know, women twerking and all that. So I don't. I mean... Neither do I. If it if it's online, then it's just it's, it's, it's if it's not even in real. I mean, I I don't really care about it in real life either. But it's like, bro, if it, if I'm not even if it's not even in real life, or if I'm not doing it's just, anything, it's just pointless, right? If I'm not doing anything, life's pointless. Like yeah, just like yeah, just like beating beating off is jerkless. It, 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 pointless. I said jerkless. <laughs> Jerk. Yeah. Jerk. Jerk. Is, it's like it took it took me a while to realize that, but it's just it's just useless. I don't. I, that, I don't, that's why I don't really do it. I don't do it because it's like good point. Good point. It's like bro, cause like I realized how useless it was, and I realized that it like bro, I'm not gaining anything from that. I think yeah. I'm not even a yeah. bro. I, it, it would be one thing if I was a porn star if I was possibly making money off of that, but it's like if you do it for free, just no. Come right. On. It's like so bro, useless. I, I'm just giving away my energy and testosterone and testosterone for not for nothing. Well, Good point. Like, yeah, you're, we, you're not getting paid for it. What's exactly. the point? Exactly. <laughs> but even still, if you're not if you're not getting paid, then don't do it. Right. Exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna monetize that. Exactly. I mean, if I was I love getting, these guys, I love it. I mean, you don't get me wrong. If I, was, it. if I was a porn star and I, 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 I would clearly have a, a plan to retire in like two, three years tops, or maybe even ten, maybe even five. I don't know. The point is, I would have, a, I would have, if I became success, successful as a porn star, I would, I would run, I would run with it for like a couple of years. You know, when I made my money, I'd retire and then possibly delete the account or keep it up just for memory's sake. I would have just deleted the account. Yeah. 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 I mean, shoot, I'd be wearing a mask anyways. So I mean. True. 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 Yeah, I mean, so I mean, you know. I can choose to delete the account or not, and I I would probably actually delete the account because I don't I wouldn't want anybody I know to find it, and you know they don't yeah. know it's, and they don't know it's me. True. 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 Yeah, that's probably that's the only reason why I would t- actually delete it, you know. So, but yeah, pretty much yeah. Bitcoin don't get- seems to be doing very well. It reached forty k a couple days ago. Wait, wait, what happened? Bitcoin reached thirty k. Nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I, uh, with Bitcoin, Bitcoin reaches goes up massively, micro start strategy is gonna go up massively. It's connected to Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, it owns cool. the biggest supply of Bitcoin in the corporate mic corporate incorporate the biggest corporate company that owns the most amount of Bitcoin. Bro, that's pretty baller right there. But yeah. only most of the bit shit 
owns like one of the biggest wallets that it's not it doesn't own a shitload of Bitcoin, but owns quite a lot. It's the one. It's the biggest company that owns it. Owns it. But I know about it. But holds it on its balance sheet. Tesla's one of them as well. Tesla owns Bitcoin as well, but nowhere near enough to qualify as much as Bitcoin. Is MicroStrategy. Oh. oh yeah, right. I have to upload an episode today. It's when it's a uh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, I'll be, honest, dudes. I'll be honest. You know the thing I probably should have did to it from the beginning was just like you know probably push it back to Thursday. So I I feel like I should have just done that. I still I still can, but you need to do it until you get to the next season and then make make some changes if you really want to. Yeah, you're right. When you're are we right. gonna do the next? Uh, when are we gonna do the next unblocked like, podcast? Oh, oh, okay. So I, I guess scheduled for next Wednesday, actually. Okay, is... we'll do okay. it next Wednesday. Oh. So for next Wednesday, we will do another episode. Okay, we and probably should start. Should we try and start making more? How much episodes have we done so far? About two. Oh. Is it already out to the people? No, I, we were gonna bu- no, I thought we were going to bulk up for. Yeah, we're going to bulk yeah. up. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, yeah we'll so bulk up episodes. It, yeah, like so, we get up to like at least twenty, maybe thirty. That'd be that'd be great. That'd be or ten, like ten would be. Enough. Once we get to at least five episodes, once we get to at least ten episodes, start releasing them. Okay. Got, okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Once we get the ten episodes box, start releasing one a week. Like once a one, once a week. Yeah. Uh, I guess upload them every Wednesday, something like that. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Okay. that sounds about right. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesdays are a sweet spot. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. I like. Yeah. Sounds yeah I like good. We've only got about we've only got about two three years until CBDCs. Well, well, it starts. They make a decision in August, and then two years after it to fully roll it out. Twenty twenty six. I'm not gonna, well, gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Even my mom, like, I'm not gonna lie. I think even my mom acknowledges that the that uh, like you know you that the dollar is becoming. It is useless. It's going to go to zero. All right. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, cheat. Yeah, I know. If I were you, I'd tr- if I were you, I think shorten the dollar would probably be the best bet. I think the way of killing shorten it. If you, if I could short ten year treasuries, I think that would be a good bet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think that'd be a good bet too. Take it, it seems to be warm, yeah. Does it? Take the barge off it. Mm. That's fine. It's all right. It happens. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was saying short. I think short and ten-year treasury bonds, U.S. dollar bills, uh, would probably be a good bet because I think long term. Yeah, I think long term they'd be. I don't think they're gonna do well. I think they're gonna, if anything, with the amount of do- with the amount of debt they've got, I think it's gonna be very unlikely that they're gonna be able to pay that off. I don't. I think even, even when you got to trend, even when I think you got to about fifteen, sixteen trillion, I was questioning: Are you going to be able to pay this off? And they're expecting the deal, the debt soon to reach fifty trillion. When does it come to a point where you can't even pay that off? Well, at this rate, probably not long, really. Like no offense, but I thought like I think like VW is apparently going Volkswagen Group is supposedly going to put himself three hundred billion in debt, right? How the fucking hell are they going to pay it off? Pay that off? They won't. If yeah, it, exactly. at this, at what rate they're keeping out, they're, they're not going to pay it off at all. They're not. They're going to extend it. They're going under. VW is going under. And if if, if 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 VW can't pay off 300 billion debt, what makes you think the US government's going to be able to pay that off? Pay their fucking 20 trillion off? Well, Could you imagine if a country goes into administration... Well, we're going to experience it. Well, in a few years, of course. You know, that'll be pretty interesting. That, that's well, that... I think the next country that's going to—I think the next country that's going to go into that administration is Japan. That's depressing. I know. That's just. Going... Wow. I think. Uh, I think. 
go. The entire the country is going time, bankrupt. On yeah, every country on a long enough time frame, dollar currency is going bankrupt. That is the all of them are going bankrupt. That's just depressing. Quite true. Can I also say something else? Yeah. Uh, and this is just from my this is just from my not this is just from my knowledge and what I know throughout the automotive industry. I think it's very unlikely that Toyota, Honda, Nissan, even Land Rover are even going to survive. A lot of these EV makers are not going to make it to the 2030s. Some, I think, will make it. I don't think... The, I, at one point, I thought VW would have a chance when they still had Herbert Deese in charge. But now that they've got Oliver Bloom and they they, they, they sap Deese, I don't think they've got a chance. I Those... think VW is going under. Yeah, and for those yeah, companies that do I make it, brands, I think there will be companies that'll make it, but I think it's more likely going to come from Kia, Hyundai. I think Kia and Hyundai might survive. I think, I think Ford might survive alone just on its trucking business, its truck, its trucks, because they're making smart moves there. But I think it'll be very downsized. I think Toyota is going going under. I think Honda's going under. I think Nissan's going under. And I think Subaru is going under. I think Renault's probably going to go under. I think Mitsubishi's going under. I think I think a lot... I think Stellantis that owns Fiat Chrysler and... Yeah, owns Chrysler and Fiat. A bunch of other brands are going under. I think Mercedes-Benz is probably going to go under. The main business is going under. But, you know, it's some of its sub-brands are going to survive. Like, I think the AMG, Mercedes-Benz, AMG T, I think the brand, the whole of Mercedes will survive, right? I think too many people are buying Mercedes vehicles, right? Like AMG yeah. and that. I think the, the sports, Mercedes sports vehicles, I think will get bought by another company. I think Audi, some of Audi, VW's brands will survive. Like, I think Audi will survive. If anything, I think it'll be bought by someone. I think Bentley will probably survive. It'll be bought by someone. I think, yeah, Audi, Bentley, a Lamborghini will probably be bought by someone as well. Same with Rolls Royce. I think these brands will get bought out by someone. I think Porsche will probably survive. From what I'm seeing, I think Porsche will survive as a luxury supercar brand, right? I think they'll survive as a luxury supercar brand. I think Skoda will go to zero. I think I think the most of VW's assets will probably get sold or get acquired. I think some of their big luxury brands like Audi, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, and Bentley will probably survive, but have different owners. And I don't think VW will survive. I think it's more. I think most competition is going from coming from China. Mm-hmm. So like BYD, Neo, and others, and that's probably going to come from Korea. I don't think I think I think Britain's going to lose it. So I, if I'm being honest, guys, can I be honest? I think Britain's going to lose its automotive sector. Like, what do we really have an automotive? Did Britain even have an automotive sector at this point? Well, yeah, but I think what McLaren most, what, what, gonna, I what think McLaren automotive sector do they have? That's the question. What do they have? What do we, we know Jag- about it? Jaguar and Land Rover owned by owned by India by by Tata Steel, which will probably get sold. Oh wow! Isn't that ironic? By Tata, Tata Steel. How the tables are turned. You've got Lamb, and then you've got like, and then you've got Vol- you've got Mini that is owned by Volkswagen. Uh, the Vol- yeah, you've got Mini that Mini Mini that is owned by Volkswagen or Mercedes. I think then you have, and then you have the, then you have Bentley. Bentley's a British brand, but it's owned by Germans. Uh, I'm not surprised. The McLaren, it's a British brand, right? But mm-hmm. I think the McLaren, I think McLaren will still be around, right? I think they'll be more of a, a niche luxury electric market. But I think most of their business is going to come from their racing team, right? Their Formula One team. Oh, yeah. Most of the revenue is going to come from the Formula One team. And I think they're going to specifically just make track cars for people for, for racers. I think they're going to specifically focus on just making supercar track cars for like taking around tracks and that, like the Nurburgring. I think that's what they're going to focus on making, track cars. And they're going to be electric. 
Yeah. I think I think the EV. I think I, I definitely think there's going to be massive disruption in the that thing. Yeah. Basically, I think the EV, I think the automotive sector is going to go. The British automotive sector is going to zero. Or if not, we're going to have like fuck all being produced here. And it's mainly going to be from Korea, China, or America. I think Germany and Italy are going to lose their automotive sector, if I'm being honest. I think the likes of Ferrari, right? I think mm-hmm. Ferrari will still be around. But guy, the likes of like your likes of the big supercar brands, right? Lamborghini, Ferrari, Pagani, Koenigsegg. Ooh, Koenigsegg. They're all still going to be around. They're still going to be around. They're just going to be literally, They're going to be like a special niche market selling cars, very in the millions of dollars. I think there's definitely going to be a market for people that are going to want to buy supercars in the millions of dollars, and they're going to be selling like maybe three hundred to four hundred car, three hundred cars a year or something like that, or exclusive amounts, and selling cars for like extraordinary amounts of money. And they'll probably just be like hybrid like EV maker EVs. But other than that. I don't think Tesla's ever going to compete in that market where you're, you're selling a car for a million plus dollars. I don't think that's I don't think that's an M, their MO. The most I think they're going to sell a vehicle for is maybe like two hundred to five hundred k. I think that's the minimum they're going to sell stuff for. But yeah. So what else do you want to talk about, or is this us for the night? For the night. Well, that's it for the night. Okay, it's been fun. Bye.